Welcome to Automation with Ansible course module. Friends, in this course module, we are going to understand what is Ansible all about, what are the different features of Ansible, and how Ansible is different from other automation tools, and we'll also understand how to automate various Unix tasks which we usually do it manually using Ansible. So all these things we are going to understand in this complete course module. We will have a lot of lab sessions with live production environments where you can explore Ansible. So everything we have covered in this complete course module. So you can learn Ansible, you can do a lot of lab sessions, practice session, and also you can explore Ansible as well. Because I have shown you a small, small industrial projects where you can explore Ansible. Learning Ansible is not a tough task, but the problem is that how to explore Ansible, where we have to explore Ansible, this is the main understanding. So in this complete course module, you will understand what is Ansible all about, you will do a lot of practice, and also you can explore Ansible. So friends, Ansible is basically, it's a powerful configuration management solution, and that is written in Python. Ansible, it's a radically simple IT automation platform that makes your application and system easier to deploy. So what are the things we can do with the Ansible? So very first thing, we can perform the configuration of servers. So what is configuration of servers? Configuration management, we can say. Configuration management, let me try to explain with an example. Suppose if you want to install the new version of Apache on all the machines present in your environment, it is not feasible for you to manually go and update each and every machine. You can install Apache in one go on all your machines with Ansible playbooks and inventory written in more simple way. All you have to do is list out the IP addresses of your nodes in the inventory and write a playbook to install Apache. Like this way, you can also do the application deployments. Suppose you have to install an application to install an application, you have to do a lot of other things as well. So you can perform all the steps one by one with the help of application deployment. Okay, with the help of Ansible, you can do the application deployment as well. Continuous testing of already installed application or packages, we can also perform this. Provisioning, we can also do the provisioning after the bare installation of any operating system. We cannot do the OS installation with the help of Ansible. We can do the installation with the help of Kick Start. After the installation, OS installation with the help of CD or Kick Start, we can do the post implementation things. After the bare installation of operating system on any servers, there are a lot of th tasks are required that is called as a post implementation task. So we can perform the post implementation task using Ansible. Orchestration is also we can perform and a lot of automation tasks. So we have to find out like this task I am doing manually. Can we do it with the help of Ansible? So like this way, you know, I have picked so many, you know, manual tasks that we usually do it manually. And I have created, you know, a projects on that basis and simple playbooks and a lot of projects are there so that you can explore Ansible more with this course module. So friends, that's all for this lecture. In the next lecture, we'll understand more about Ansible. So thanks for watching. And if you have time, please join with me in the next lecture.